Dateline, Los Angeles, California. Bernie Shine's entire home is a monument to Mickey Mouse mania. Hi, welcome to the Mouse House. You ready for a little uh, Mickey mania? We've heard of bats in the belfry or rats in the basement. But when we visited lawyer Bernie Shine's home, we were shocked to find his entire home overrun by mice. Mickey mice. From the bathroom to the bedroom, every nook and corner of Bernie's home is an inspired tribute to the world's most famous mouse. Dolls, games, buckets, figurines, toy trains, lamps, posters, buttons, badges, and comics. Whew, you name it, and it's here. This is my bathroom. I shave, I look at a happy, thousand happy faces every morning in here. These are porcelain bisque figurines from Japan, all made in the 1930s, all hand-painted, all very fragile. Now, this is one of my favorite discs, this little Donald Duck next to the pillar. One of my favorite figurines, and it's a toothbrush holder. And I happen to have with it a original 1930s version of a Mickey Mouse toothbrush. Now, everything you're going to see in this room, everything you've seen in this room, was made between 1930 and 1938, the so-called uh, vintage years of Disneyana. This is the first Mickey toy ever made. This was made in 1930. Here's the uh, first Mickey Mouse alarm clock. It was made in the uh, early 30s by a company called Ingersoll. Later became Timex. This is interesting. This is the uh, first Mickey Mouse wristwatch that was ever made. First made in 1932 and introduced to the world in 1933. It said this watch saved Ingersoll Watch Company from bankruptcy. This spectacular display of Mickey Mouse memorabilia is the most extensive private collection of its kind in the world. Just how did this normal-looking personal injury lawyer from Los Angeles get so crazy about a mouse? I started collecting in 1968, and what happened was I bought a Mickey Mouse watch just because it appealed to me visually. I thought it was the perfect uh, combination of art and industry. It was just a great, chubby little timepiece. And I bought it, and I said to myself, you know, uh, what am I doing with this thing? So I sold it, and I sold it, and I'm telling you, I regretted parting with that watch. So I went out trying to replace it. And in attempting to uh, replace that watch, well, you've seen what happened. I discovered books and dolls and toys and figurines and um, uh, tin toy sets and, I mean, tin uh, uh, buckets and a million other toys. And it took me months to find the watch, but meanwhile, I was having a ball with all these other toys. I finally did, of course, replace the watch, and that's what started it. One thing that immediately hits you about Bernie's incredible collection is that he is picky about Mickey. His mouse treasures date only from 1930 to 1938. Mickey Mouse in the 30s was an entirely different looking character than he is today. He was much more rat-like in appearance. He had a powder white face. He had what collectors call pie eyes, which look like a black pie with a white slice removed from it. Like most diehard collectors who will do anything to get those impossible to find items, Bernie sometimes has to go to extravagant lengths to dig up rare pieces of memorabilia. I found ultimately I was getting on airplanes and flying, you know, back east and I'd find myself at 5.30 in the morning walking fields in Massachusetts at flea markets and saying to myself, what the devil am I doing here? looking for Mickey Mouse toys. This is absurd. Not only is this magnificent collection beautifully displayed and preserved, but to our surprise, most of these 50-year-old toys still work like brand new. I wound this up for a long time. And the reason I collect Mickey Mouse, is really, there's two reasons. I believe that they, uh, there's a certain amount of luck associated with them, but I feel better when I surround myself with these objects. Just that simple. I think they're good luck. The other reason that I collect uh, 30s Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, particularly Mickey Mouse, is graphically, I have never seen any art or sculpture that appeals to me, to my eye, more than Mickey Mouse. You don't have to be a Mickey Mouse fan to appreciate all the hard work and time Bernie Shine has invested in this extraordinary collection. 
It's a stunning tribute to the most popular symbol of the Disney success story. You know, uh, Walt Disney once said that I hope we never lose sight of one fact. This was all started with a mouse.